Wendy. We heard from... Ooh, look at how pretty those are. We heard from Wendy earlier. She's like her talking to Father Jeremy and all that. Once I jump, I can't go back. Alright, well... I would say run, Forrest, run, but you can't run in this game. Uh, get back here. God, that's great. Oh, yeah, she's the bird lady. You do look ever so drawn this morning. That bloody dog kept me awake. And there was that thing in the sky. The radio says it was an electrical storm, but I don't know what it was. This morning, I found some dead birds in the garden. I'm sorry to hear that. I wonder if it might have had something to do with the atmospheric conditions. Why, Stephen will probably know. I'll give him a call in a bit. Wendy, I've popped around because we've had some incidents with some of the more elderly residents. Mrs. Falcon has, well, vanished, for want of a better word. Wandered off somewhere. I thought I'd best check and see you all right. The council are talking about a flu epidemic. Yes, well, I'm not sure it's flu and such. But uh, no headaches, nosebleeds, no joint pains, or digestive issues. Dr. Wade, I'm as fit as a fig. Go and find some real sick people to look after. And if you see that son of mine, tell him that his mother's looking for him. Ah, uh, so it's Steven's mother we're following now. It's been a while since I've played this, so I don't remember all the details, but... There's a little bird feed Put the bird seed up there, but now all the birdies are gone. That's one heck of a doctor to go around personally to the people's homes. She was like, don't say that nowadays. Really, is that all you can explore here? Really? I guess you can go in here. Kitchen. I just went this way, didn't I? Yeah, I just went this way, so that's it. You can't go anywhere. Okay. Yeah, see, there's clearly a second story, uh, and you can't get up there. Alright, fine, screw you guys. Let's see, I don't hear any radios. I don't see the orange glowy. Oh, there he is, over there. Oh, right, alright, alright. Let's do this. Oh, yeah, a map. What are you trying to tell me, glowy thingy? Let's see, it was down there, now up there. Ooh, is there one up in that? 
Treehouse, maybe? Wait, oh, just for a few days, yeah. First thing in the morning. I want the kids to catch this flu if it's going around. It's probably that father, Jeremy, spreading it around while he tries to bully everyone into donations for the summer fee. Seems very quiet in the village, actually, Wendy. Not much bullying to be done. Oh, father. I didn't know you were here. Clearly. Listen, I came up here to tell Amanda that we've had some vandalism in the village. It must be a teenage thing. Tagging, I think they call it. Someone's painting all over doors and things. Little vandals. Well, I'll tell Neil to make sure we're properly locked up when we go. A good man like my Eddie, gone. And these thugs and yobs running around defacing property. He gave everything to his country, and look what he got in return. Nothing but an early death. He had a good life, Wendy. He had a short life. I look to my birds, father. Lives lived unencumbered, free and simple. That's as God meant things to be. Alright. Can I actually climb up here? I think I can. I think I can. Yes, I can. There it is. Every computer in the observatory has set itself to 607 a.m. June 6th, 1984. I don't understand what that means. All right, let's get on the Google machine. See, that's an important date. Probably did this last time too, but June 6th. Ah, video game Tetris is first released in the Soviet Union. Huh. It's also the day British author A. Bertram Chandler died. He wrote sci-fi. Huh. Terrible. Huh. All right. Well, so apparently that's the day some British sci-fi author died, which is being a sci-fi game would make sense that they would have that, I guess. I just press there you go what is that noise And I have no idea where I'm going now. And just like that, I'm lost. Alright, there's where I am. That. Let's go this way. Let's go back up there. Like, right, no, that's where I just came from, isn't it? That's where I just came from. So let's go this way.
Hey! There he is, I'm back. There's a phone ringing. Oh, there it is. And like you never actually meet a single person in the entire game, you just get the entire story from little snippets like that. Now let's go check this out. Oh, I hear phone ringing. Right there. Hello, Frank Appleton. Greg Lost Cowboy, this is Traveling Sherlock. You copy over. You damn bugger, Charlie. You don't do it when you're using the phone. You take this too seriously, Appleton, I'm telling you. It is serious. It's not larking about. You be listening to your number stations again, Frankie. It's not funny. <laughs> it's serious stuff. And you should mind it. Now then, I'm assuming this is about a point. I am going to the Whistler. My round, I think. I'll not argue with that. Frank, have you seen the sky? It's amazing. I don't think I've ever seen anything like it. I didn't realize we were off to a poetry recital as well, Charlie. <sighs> Any way to get into the house? Let's find out. Nope. It's gonna get dirty. And no way to get over there. Alright, let's go. The sound changed when I walked over. That's nice. That's a good detail. Sometimes all it takes is a good detail. Follow the orange bright light. Terry called this morning. Said there was a problem with Arvin. Said he couldn't get through to the vet, so I said I'd come round and take a look. There's a lot of dead birds today. More here, too, poor little things. I've been trying to get hold of Steve, and he always knows what to do. Got round here, and no sign of either of them. With any luck, the stupid creature will have run under a car. It's probably real. Oh, don't say that. That's not very nice. That guy's bright. You can hear it, it's like talking. Okay, so what are you doing? Where do you want me to go? Dead birds, terrible. They're everywhere. Harvey. Harvey, come on, boy. Come on. Come on, Harvey. Come on, boy. Harvey. Harvey. Oh, I 
I think I remember this, if I remember it right. Say so what got stuck? Oh, I hear the orange thing again. There it is. I think over here to see her fine. Nice little jungle gym. A pogo. There's gotta be something here. Wendy, I'm married. You have to stop this. He's still sweet on you, Elizabeth. He left. It's too late. You loved each other long before she came along. It's just about making things as they should be. Wendy. Meddling it's wench. Not that you won't bump into each other anyway. One drink, what can that hurt? One drink, maybe. Oh, one drink, wonderful. Ah, oh, you meddling wench. Ooh, pretty. I think this is the same company that did a kind of a great game where you went to a space colony on like Titan. Ah, uh, God, I can't remember the name of it. Yeah, the Ch just look at the Chinese room game company. They make several great games. Oh, there's what got stuck. I'm sure. So they drove right off the road, right through the fence. Well, that's not good. Anything else for me to explore down here? Doesn't look like it. Can I get in the water? Ooh, I can. God, that looks so pretty. And the game in the company in the future that wants to do water. Hire this company. They did amazing water graphics. Oh, God, that's so beautiful. Just want to drink it. Yeah, I'm going way off the beaten path, aren't I? Just gotta find the orange glowy thingy again. I'll say this game isn't that linear. Like, obviously, you know, you gotta follow the glowy thingy, but you can go off on your own every now and then. And just see all kinds of random stuff. Like, what is this? Guess you're on the rain, maybe? You are here. Right. And I love the music in this. The music is great. Got 
sky. Look at that. That's gorgeous. Alright, let's go back trying to find the orange thingy. Hey, there he is. Hi, buddy. Something back or maybe not. Maybe he's just going around. I don't know what he's doing. It'd be super annoying if I went there this way for nothing. Okay, that doesn't sound like nothing. I'm gonna go this way, alright. What am I looking for over here? So isn't this where I just came from? Oh. There we go. Is everything all right, my dear? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm all right. I'm all right. It's just Robert. That man doesn't deserve you. I know everybody thinks I'm just a mindering old busybody, but someone has to say what everyone else is thinking. We both know that this marriage, it's not how things are supposed to be. Are you talking about me and Robert? Or is this really about Stephen and Kate? I suppose it is. I have to accept it. I know, but she doesn't belong here. You see that, don't you? There's a place for people, and this isn't hers. Oh. I'm not talking about the color of her skin. Don't look at me like that. Ooh, terrible. They do not know. It's not natural. There are some things we're not supposed to understand. I don't like her. And I don't like how Stephen is around her. You're just he jelly. Was a better man when he was with you. Yeah, then you left. Oh yeah, wait a minute, because I came out and from there. No wonder I missed it. Alright. So it's a good thing I came back. No, what did I miss? Nothing. All right, let's go this way then. Maybe we gotta go up here. Oh, it's a train. Oh, this is what I remember. Oh, this is really sad. That's what I remember. I think it is. Yep, he's following me up here. This is what I think it is, if I remember right. I've lost my shoes. I lost my shoes, sir. There's arches on the green. They take my shoes, sir. Howard! Howard Lantham! You open the door this instant, young man! I lost my shoes. Now get up. Get up. I lost my shoes. What on earth are you doing here, Howard? Stephen. He told me to stay in case Lizzie phoned. Stephen, where is he? 
can do with those birds? Concentrate, Howard. Where's Stephen? He said he couldn't help them. He took my shoes so I'd stay. Listen to me, Howard Lantham. You find your shoes and you get to the village. Find Father Jeremy. He'll give you some soup or something. Be off with you. Where are you going? I'm gonna find my son. Then I'm gonna ask him what on earth he thinks he's doing. Someone had a mental breakdown. And the reason for that mental breakdown is... Oh, I can't go over there. Keep going, keep going, run, 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 like a can't spend a winter dog. Here it is. Socks. Howard, what's happened? Steve, thank God. Listen, I need you to get to the junction box. See if there's a phone working. No, stay back. Don't come up here. Oh, Christ. Is it? Bloody idiot. <laughs> Yeah, he just Where the hell did they think they were going? I think they must have thought they could walk out along the line. Well, I'm only the truth now. We are a callous bastard, Steve. Just pragmatic help. Do you say there's a working phone in the junction box? That sucks. That's so sad. Panicking, no idea what's going on, trying to escape no matter what, and then train. Although I still don't understand how you get hit by a train. I mean, don't you see it or hear it coming? Especially if you're on foot. Yeah, you can't go that way, all right. Okay, where's that coming from? Radio, I hear radio. Okay, I know I heard a radio. Oh, that, another door, no door handle, like, that is an odd choice. Finished. 
right. Grab that bloody case and let's get moving. Come on. I hope that wasn't them that got hit by the train. I don't remember who did. Someone did. Just can't remember who though. Is there a back way in the house? Maybe. Like everyone sleeps on white sheets, terrible. No design. Nope. Alright, let's go this way, right? Oh. Was that the only glowy thingy up there? I think it was. Ooh, can I leap through here? Nope. Alright. Gotta go back around. All right. Ooh, look at how gorgeous that is! So pretty. Can I climb up on these rocks and look? Nope. All right. Another radio. Wendy, Wendy, wake up. Betty, is that you? No, it's me. It's Frank. Oh, Frank. The door was open. I didn't think Graham would mind. I'm sure he won't. What are you doing here? Looking for Stephen, but he just ran out of steam. The door was open. Have you listened to the radio? I thought I heard it on the radio before. All over the valley. Don't you get that? This is some abstract thing. Whatever came down into the tower has got out. They've quarantined the whole valley. It's right here in the observatory. It's out in the world. It's adapting and spreading. Do you understand? No. We can't turn it away. What's he talking about? on the radio and can try and reach him on the CB. You go to Stephen's house, and if I get hold of him, I'll tell him to come and find you. outside of the house I'm guessing there it is count to me my radio To next, this way, I think. Pretty sure it's this way. I gotta go. That doesn't tell me where I am, though. Screw you guys. Oh, look at that. Bloody 
bloody thing. Jesus! Come on, not now. Jesus, come on, you bastard. Stop! Stop, you bastard! Come on! Yeah. There's a radio. Steven. Okay, I ended up there to save him then. Nothing else afterwards. Looks like he made a mess. Fancy math there. I'm gonna try to understand. Run up their energy bill. Just right. There we go. Wait, is this the final one? Man, that was quick. Stephen, I can hear the planes. It's the government coming to rescue us. Oh, oh this is so it's sad. All all right. I can hear the jets coming. It's like when Eddie came home. It's like your dad coming home again. Guy, who's cutting onions in here? I'm so happy and excited. And then she was raptured. best for her son if she missed her husband she sees the jets coming and she's like yeah just like when my husband came home no no it wasn't not even close just so sad I just hear all that hope in her voice she's so happy to see the jets Jeremy's a man of the cloth who lost his faith, and then he did something. I won't reveal what he did yet, because you'll find out later. That hurt his faith, but then he came back, and then this happened, and... And Wendy... Poor Wendy. Yeah, she's a bit of a doddering old bat, but... She loved her son. She was going to do what was best for him, even if it... It wasn't in the end the best for him. I thought it was best for him. Alright, as soon as the name pops up, I'll end this one and start the new one.
God, this is so beautiful. Frank. <laughs> 